and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about battery range on your e-bike and some tips on how you can maximize your battery range because for lots of folks let's face it battery range is an issue or you worry about it you have anxiety about it and yeah even myself when I go uh, for longer rides I sometimes well I do not sometimes I always keep an eye on my voltage or percentage of battery and so I'll give you some tips on how you can uh, maybe maximize it and these may not apply to everybody and the reason why they might all these tips may not apply to everyone it might depend on the bike you're riding and whether you pedal or not and for me it depends on what bike I'm riding so right now I'm riding the Lyric Graffiti and I'm not pedaling this bike uh, so this is strictly a throttle uh, situation for this bike and me um, if I was riding another bike like the ride one up cafe cruiser I pedal that one so but in this case I'm throttling only so first of all before we well let's get into it so uh, number one tip would be pedal assist so like I say for myself it's not going to apply on this particular bike but if you are a peddler it's going to apply to you so to get the more range this is kind of common sense thing but use a lower pedal assist level the lower the pedal assist level obviously you're going to use less power of your battery because you're using more pedal power human pedal power and less motor power so that's a pretty straightforward and sometimes you can't help it when you go on hills uh, or you could be under a more uh, situation uh, with uh, respect to wind you could be riding into a wind and have a, a resistance that you need to uh, use a higher pedal assist level but try to use the lowest possible to maximize your battery and as I had my mouth open a bug just went in there or tried to go in but I was able to get closed just in time okay so uh, tip number two would be throttling and this again doesn't apply really to myself on this particular situation because I am going to be uh, throttling only but you want to use the throttle as little as possible um, that way you'll preserve and conserve battery um, so I would suggest if you're trying to maximize and you're you're okay with pedaling then I would su suggest only using the throttle if you need help on hills just like we mentioned earlier on the pedal assist level or getting through intersections uh, is another one and also to start yourself off it's a lot easier to start uh, the bike with the throttle to get going before you pedal um, it's from a standstill it's hard to get the bike pedaling because uh, some of these bikes are a pretty good weight you know they weigh a lot and so uh, it sure helps to have a throttle to start you off. So that's tip two. Tip number three would be speed. So you want to maintain your speed. Whatever speed you're riding at. So you want to avoid excessive, like uh, hard throttling. Uh, if you are throttling, so you want to uh, avoid that as much as you possibly can. And... and try to uh, uh, 
uh, ride in lower gears again. The higher the gear, the more it's going to use. So. So that was tip three. We're on to tip four, the route. So your route or route, however uh, you want to say it, uh, whatever you plan, plan if you can, if you have an option for this, a flat ride. The flatter the ground, the better, of course. Uh, it's going to help you with your battery. You want to avoid, if you can, challenging terrain if at all possible. I'm going a little faster here because I got a guy right behind me in pickup truck. And speed limit here is 25 and I'm going a little less but we're good. Sometimes you can't on that uh, route or route, you can't uh, change it, you know, like you have no options, you have to go on, on the hilly one, etc. So tip number five would be tire pressure. So this is a good one too, um, to make sure that you have your tires pumped up pretty good. I like to pump mine up to the highest uh, if I can, I like to pump mine up to the highest uh, uh, PSI because I like to have the the better uh, range for the battery and I like to have the better speed. Um, and so you will ride slower with uh, uh, softer tires. So I would, I would suggest going, personally, I like to maximize the, if the PSI is 30, I'm going with 30. But that's totally up to you and how you like your ride to be. But if you want to maximize your range and speed, then you want to have your tires pumped up pretty good, pretty hard. Our next tip would be storage. It's recommended uh, that if you're storing your bike away to store it at the battery at less than 100%. Uh, recommended is about 85% battery. And for me, this doesn't apply for the simple reason that I never store my bike. It's always on the go, basically on a daily basis. There's not very often a day goes by that I'm not riding, so very rare. So I uh, don't worry about that. I, I let my battery go down a little bit, but I don't worry about that one. I like to, I actually like to have mine for the most part at 100% all the time because I don't know how much riding I'm going to do on the next given ride. So I want to make sure I'm charged up ready to go because I'm not sure how long I'm going to be riding or how far. If it's just a, you know, spur of the moment ride, I don't know how far I'm going to ride. So I would like to have it 100%. But if you are storing it, they do recommend don't, don't uh, max out the battery. I uh, have it a little less, like 85%. Another tip would be temperature extremes. So if the temperature is extremely hot, that affects your battery. And I can tell you that the cold definitely does. Your battery is a lot more uh, sluggish, I find, uh, and you do lose power faster in the cold. I don't think you lose as much in the hot as you do in the cold. I think the cold affects it even more. But both are going to affect it. Uh, so it doesn't matter any extreme. And I forget what they say the best temperatures are. I think it's 
between 60 and 80 um, degrees, I think is what they recommend best temperature conditions for uh, the electric bike battery. I could be wrong, but I think that's the range. And I got one more tip for you, and that's the braking. So try to avoid hard braking. I very rarely hit my brakes hard unless something comes up and I have to, in an emergency situation, hit the brakes hard, something unexpected comes up like somebody pulls out in front of me or stops in front of me, like pretty close in front, or I have an animal, squirrel or something that's running up, or a dog or whatever, um, and I have to hit the brakes. But otherwise, I, I'm pretty good. I, I have a pretty good feel for uh, the bike. Uh, you also get used to the bike you're riding. Every bike is a little bit different with the brakes and stuff. And I, uh, I get a touch for the, the brakes and how hard to hit them. And the other thing, the other option is uh, regen braking. If you can have an option and can get regen braking, get that. Because that'll even save you more. You'll save on the brake pads and you'll put a little more juice back in your battery when you use your regen braking. And on this bike, the Lyric Graffiti that I'm riding now, it does have regen braking. This is the original Lyric Graffiti, so don't go looking for regen braking on the uh, 2023 model of the uh, Lyric Graffiti. But the Graffiti X that's coming soon, my uh, uh, batch one version of the bike, and anyone who's buying a Lyric Graffiti X, you will get regen braking on your bike, so that'll help. Uh, preserve your uh, brake pads and also you'll get a little extra juice in your battery so yeah if you can if you can get regen braking on a bike go for it keep in mind that you you're only going to be able to do that on a direct drive motor and if you don't have that option and you're hitting your regular brakes your hydraulic uh, brakes just go easy on your brakes. Don't hit them hard, that'll save. And the other thing is uh, throttling. Uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but when you do throttle, I think I maybe I did, but don't, don't throttle hard off the get-go. Just kind of gradually ease into it and you'll save a little bit that way too. So those are some tips on trying to maximize your battery on your electric bike. And Whenever you read the manufacturer uh, range that they give you on the bike, never go by that. Because they have it under the best of conditions, a lightweight rider, all of these things are gonna come into play. Um, the, anything from the tire pressure that we talked about, the temperature, the weight of the rider, are you riding into a wind? Are you riding on hilly uh, roads? Uh, all of that's going to come into play, so it's just an estimate. Remember that when you uh, read about bike range. And they're also going to give it, you that range on the lowest pedal assist level. And not everybody is going to ride their bike on the pedal assist one. Um, you may at times ride in pedal assist one, but most are going to be switching gears or uh, assist levels, I should say. So that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to comment and maybe you have a, um, a little extra tip for us you can throw in there, uh, by all means do so in the comments below. And if you want to comment on this one or any other video, in fact, you can do that in the comments. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.